got that problem where it doesn't start first time the lights stay on for ages they don't actually go off for like three or four minutes this is one of the problems I've been having this for years actually it wasn't that old when it started I think I'd had it for a year and a half so even though it was still under warranty I never bothered getting it fixed um, but now it's becoming a real problem uh, usually you just flick, flick the handle and it'll come back on but uh, now it's just not coming on at all really so um, you can see the lights just they just don't go off they stay on for ages Okay, so just check this. Um, yeah. Plenty on there, and what happens is, is I press this, and you get absolutely nothing. You flick on until it eventually starts. Now it's been doing this for years, and what happens is these lights stay on. They just never go off. They just stay on and on and on. They can stay on for like four or five minutes, sometimes longer. I'm going to fix it, or I'm going to attempt to fix it. Uh, I'm going to use... Now I think it's a switch It's a problem. I think it's this. This area, this here, the trigger. That's the problem. So what I'm going to do is take the battery out. Take some of this. This is a contact cleaner. So basically, just a switch cleaner. Uh, what it is is like an alcohol, and it will just go in and take any garbage out the switch, and hopefully that will that will work. So this has got a nice wee straw that you can get into that. So I'm just going to just put it in there, boom, in that join. Just blast some in there. Okay. Really get get it in plenty. I'm gonna try and straighten that up. I'm doing all this one-handed. I'm just filming this on my phone. So just put plenty in. Give it a wee. Uh, right. So the reason I've taken the battery out is just. Uh, so we don't get any fires in there. <laughs> Just worried about having a fire. Right, also, what I would do is push push that switch in and spray at the same time. Uh, that's going to be tricky. Push that in. Spray it. Boom. Just get it right and get plenty in there. Okay. Now, what you do is you can feel that that should be freezing cold because this stuff just evaporates off okay so give it a good give it a good flick good press and then what you want to do is put that on the radiator for a while let it dry off so we'll come back to it in a couple of hours i'm just going to get a couple of hours to dry off right this is a test oh it works first time it's not done that for years. I've actually been working with this, having to flick it to get it to start for such a long time. It's a ridiculously easy fix. Anyway, hope this helps somebody out there to get your, your wee impact driver back to working again. Good luck.